There's an argument that changed the world over the course of history. And it wasn't between the English and the French. Actually, this one was between two Frenchmen. Between a fellow by the name of Louis Pasteur and a fellow by the name of Bichon. <clears throat> Bichon saw life everywhere. What he used to call microzimas. The Germans later on called protids. You could see life in everything. It would team, it would move, be constant, take different forms, so on and so forth, depending on its environment. Pasteur's argument was, it's bacteria. Bichon would say, no, it's the terrain. And Pasteur would say, no, it is the bacteria. And on his deathbed, Pasteur said, Bichon was right. <laughs> it is the terrain. <laughs> that is important. It's your constitution, your terrain is important. The microbe is nothing, the terrain is everything. <laughs> The road was paid for the germ theory at that time. It was too late for medicine to turn around. Everything ever since then has been about the bacteria. Or must be a virus. <laughs> must be a virus. We know now that uh, medicine of today alleviates the symptoms, <clears throat> permitting you to degenerate in peace. <laughs> The American medical establishment does not look at live blood. In fact, they look at blood that has been attenuated. Protests, flourish in the blood cells, plasma, body fluids in the tissue. A protein is the body's smallest organized biological unit that Bichon had discovered that he called microzimas many years back. The thing is that it can change and adapt to its environment. It never dies. It just changes to its environment. Changes environment, and the protein will change to survive. That's pretty profound. The blood shifts outside the perfect range, and the microorganisms in the blood or the protein must change in order to survive. There are thousands of forms. They'll overcome defense mechanisms. They'll create multiple disease situations. The over-acidification of the body caused by an inverted way of eating and living causes a proliferation of the fungus among us, <laughs> which debilitates the body, and if not corrected, will ultimately cause our demise. For some researchers, it all boils down to this. All illness is but one constitutional disease, which is a result of mycotoxicosis. How can it be anything else? Because fungus is the great equalizer. It's mother nature's tools. Toxicity brought about by mycotic infections, such as yeast and fungus infection, are the great decomposers of life. That's what wears it down. Understand this, understand disease, and that's all there is to it. For many years, medical doctors thought that blood was a sterile environment. We're finding now that it is not at all. Blood pH under or above 7.3 means terrain change. Now these proteins are going to have to adapt to their new environment. The colloids in the blood, the blood microbes change, possibly becoming pathogenic. One stage of development, the forms created by the blood colloids serve a useful function. It be transferred back into blood platelets. Everything lives within a symbiotic relationship. But beyond this narrow symbiosis lies potential microbial anarchy. This is what it should look like, and this is what we're seeing in the 
disease states. Now, total healing of chronic illness takes place only when and if the blood is restored to a normal, slightly alkaline pH. So this is one of the first things that we look at to make sure that we get the food right, we get the nutrition right, we get the stress levels right, and so on and so forth. Minerals play a huge role, and I'll tell you which minerals play the largest role in getting people's pH back to normal. So your body pH affects everything. Human blood stays in a, ver in a very narrow pH range right around 7.3. Below or above this range means symptoms and disease. When the pH goes off, microbial looking forms in the blood can change shape. They can mutate, mirror pathogenicity, and they can grow. When pH goes off, enzymes that are constructive can become destructive. When pH goes off, oxygen delivery to the cell suffers. 